There was quite a few explosions and a couple of real big ones as well. That is someone who witnessed the big story of the day in Tulsa, and we are getting right to it. I'm Erin Christie. We begin with an update to breaking news. That big fire at a West Tulsa business that sent flames and thick black smoke billowing into the sky. That fire came from a petroleum tanker barn at an oils and grease manufacturer just off Charles Page Boulevard. And that is where we find 2 News Oklahoma's Samson Tamajani with an update from the Tulsa Fire Department. Sam. Yeah, Aaron, T Tulsa fire crews were able to all but extinguish the flames are only about 100 yards behind me all in about three hours earlier today. And all that remained for hazmat crews to do was break down all that remained to make sure that nothing else could ignite. Now, the footage that you're about to see is what much of green country was able to witness earlier today from just a few outdoor oil blending tankers here off Charles Page Boulevard. These belong to Axel Royal Oils and Grease Company. There's no clear cause of what happened here. Tulsa Fire says that investigation could take a week or more. The company says all employees were accounted for and sent home. Tulsa Fire spokesman Andy Little says dozens of firefighters blanketed the tankers with as much synthetic foam as possible, and that's how they were able to tackle this blaze, and that's what hazmat teams have spent the remainder of the afternoon on. As large of a fire as this was and the products that we're dealing with, I think three hours is a pretty, pretty good response and, and execution time. Yeah, it's even when the fire was at its worst, the plumes of smoke blew in the right direction down the Arkansas River, not to be a very big threat to the public, thankfully. And lastly, after being shut down several hours, Charles Page Boulevard is, well, totally clear now. No signs of the blockages that it had earlier today. Live in West Tulsa, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma. Thank you, Samson. Almost as soon as the flames and smoke filled the air, it also affected businesses. 2 News Oklahoma's Kathy Tatum continues our live team coverage with that part of the story. Kathy. Hi, Aaron. I'm a little bit further up Charles Page Boulevard from where Samson was, right on the edge of what had turned out to be an evacuation zone. Now take a look at these buildings behind me. All of these companies were evacuated. And because this is an industrial area, that kind of limited the impact this fire had on its neighbors. Driving from Midtown to West Tulsa, we could easily see plumes of thick black smoke. Arriving on West 23rd Street, we could see the wind blowing that heavy, stinky smoke to the south. So could Dela McLean. We were just outside setting up the umbrellas and looked over and saw the black smoke coming. Over on Charles Page Boulevard, Johnny Qualls could see and smell the smoke. But that's not all. It was pretty scary there for a minute. Uh, we was inside, always going to have to leave. It was shaking the building. It was exploding so hard. And then... We had a bunch of uh, fire department and everything showing up, and uh, we was kind of scared of debating whether we was going to get evacuated or not. Like businesses across the street, closer to the fire. The Freedom Steel was. Uh, Advanced Polymers over here was uh, they was evacuated as far as I know because they were right uh, within the vicinity of the scene what was going on. A little further up Charles Page Boulevard, Restore Hope Ministries was also told to shut down and evacuate. And just a few hours after the big fire roared into life, the smoke was gone, dissipated by this afternoon's gusty winds. And Aaron, the one thing that's a big blessing here. All the wind today quickly blew all that stinky smoke away. Definitely so. And Kathy, were you able to talk to anyone at the plant? What did they see? Yes, Erin, I did get to talk to several folks off camera. None of them wanted to go on camera to say what was going on inside the plant during the fire. But what they did tell me is they're grateful to firefighters who quickly got them out as well so that they could get inside and work this fire and get it out. All right, Kathy Tatum live in a less stinky West Tulsa now tonight. Thank you.